what is up crew so i am back again so y'all know i with the new hairstyle the earrings sometimes get covered so i had to pull it back in the ponytail and do something y'all see i still work the flower in my cuteness was on a level 10 today i'm telling you it was on a level 10 so anyway this has been a hell of a week for the black man in america <laughs> this week right here has been a hell of a week Chris Brown. And then if you live in Atlanta, we had this guy last night who surrendered to police, had the news camera on it. So it's just been hell for a brother in the, in the ATL in America this week. But let's get down to business. First of all, let me just, and it's going to be kind of random, but it's, it's basically, we're going to talk about Chris Brown, this whole damn video. And I'm going to bring other stuff in because his situation brings to mind other situations. Okay, let's start with you heifers that keep defending him. Let, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that you're a loser. Yeah, let's say that. Yeah, you. What people know. What we're not going to do, we're not going to continue to do is defend him in the matter of Rihanna. He beat Rihanna's ass. He did. I mean, let's stop acting like it didn't happen. Let's stop trying to blame her. And if I hear one more heifer say, what did she do to provoke him? I don't even, I, I just, I don't even know what I might do. I may throw a chair through some shit. Because that is the most ridiculous argument. And I don't know about the rest of y'all. I don't, I, I really don't. <clears throat> but my dad was in my life. And I even talked to him about this situation when it happened. Just because I like to bounce ideas off of him and talk to him and see what he has to say. And you know what he told me? He told me, my dad, I don't know about the rest of your daddies. But my daddy said that a man should not put his hands on a woman unless it is definite, definite, definite self-defense. He said a man's strength is always 10, 100 times more than a woman. And you know Rihanna don't weigh but a buck oh damn five. Now come on. So whatever she did to him, he could have grabbed her ass quick, held on to her, and shit, shake the hell out of her. Stopped his damn car and put her ass out. Tell somebody to come pick her crazy ass up if necessary. He could have sat there and waited with his doors locked while she waited and did what he had to do. So when are we going to stop doing this women? I don't know what it is. And I'm, oh, let me reiterate this. I am Team Breezy. I like Chris Brown. I want him to make it. I want him to make it. Because redemption is available for everybody. There but for the grace of God go I, honey. So I'm not saying this as if I'm on some moral high ground and I've never done anything wrong and I'm looking down. No, what I'm saying is we will not make excuses for a woman getting her ass kicked and then somehow try to blame. Well, I'm sorry, whatever. I, like I said, I don't know about the rest of your daddies, but I ran it past mine and that was the answer I got. So, you know, whatever. That's, that's what I'm rolling with. Um, let's also talk about the interview. Let, let, let me say this. Chris, that question is going to come up. Ike Turner got asked the damn question by Tina for the rest of his damn life. Every, every interview he did after that damn book in the movie came out. He handled that damn question and went on about his damn business. And sometimes he handled that shit quite comically. <laughs> damn, Ike Turner was a trip. But what I'm saying is, you need to learn how to deal with what you have done, accept that shit, stand in your shit, and when that shit comes up to you, you need to be ready to have an answer for their asses and move on past it. Every time that shit comes up, if it comes up 30 times, your ass got to answer 30 damn times. So what I want you to do is learn how to become relaxed in your shit, and I understand you young, you 21, I understand that. Let me say this. At that age, I had just lost my mom, and I was a mad bitch for years. <laughs> for years. And I look back, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> some of the crazy shit I did. So I definitely understand being mad about shit, can't figure it out, 
everybody in your business. It's like I've said before in my videos, I, I'm not even a celebrity, but I don't want people in my church in my damn business. I could just imagine the pressures of being a celebrity and everybody thinking they know you. I couldn't do it personally. So kudos to all of y'all that do it because by the time I got through talking about all their mamas and daddies and dead grandpappies and shit, they would have me on the front of every damn magazine. <laughs> so I understand. But what I'm saying is, with you being in this position, I need you to be ready whenever that question come, however it come, whenever, however many damn times, and stand in your shit and be like, you know what, I did that. Yes, I did. It was wrong. I apologize. I don't even know what the hell got into me. I'm seeking some help because I'm hoping that after this now, your ass is truly seeking some help. And I'm doing what I got to do to get, get right with myself. But stop trying to evade the question. It's coming up, boo. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. That's the way it is. It even comes up, though you, and you mentioned Charlie Sheen in your tweet that you deleted. It still comes up when his ass be right there. <laughs> what an answer. Though comically, his ass has an answer. So, stop getting mad about it. Be at peace with yourself. Look in the mirror and admit that your ass did that shit. That's why you getting asked that question. And learn how to handle it. But you know what? Your people, your people piss me off. They have pissed me off since the Rihanna situation happened. If some of y'all know the video I did on that situation. And Rihanna's people are worth their money, honey. They are worth, you need to hire them motherfuckers. Because whoever you got working for you, I hate all of them. Can they please go kill themselves right now? Because I don't feel like they have adequately prepared you for what you need in your career. As far as this situation with Rihanna. And it's a big situation, even though we all want to say, oh, we forgot about it. We ain't forgot about this shit. Even those that are Team Breezy, we ain't forgot about this shit. So what I need your team to have done for you is had your ass prepared. I need for your team to stop being yes men and yes women because that's what's obviously going on, even though you say it's not. Somebody's not handling their business. Your ass should be ready for that question wherever it comes. And let's go to Robin Roberts right quick. I don't know what it is. Everybody's mad at Robin. But any journalist worth her true weight in gold would have asked that same question. And let's not act like Robin is a hard-nosed journalist with anybody she interviews. Stop that lie. Robin is very easy. Very easy. It wasn't like he was on Rush Limbaugh or Piers Morgan or even The View because The View would ate that ass up. Robin Roberts is not that kind of journalist. She was very easy with him. Like she said, she thought that they had... Um, I, I'm just uh, assuming this is what she meant by her, her um, statements on the Gayle King show. They had um, gotten to some place of camaraderie, and she was surprised at his actions, that she's been to his house. They've met before. So Robin is not some black woman. I have to get the black man and bring him down. So y'all can stop that shit. Tell that to somebody else. Robin Roberts is not that type of journal excuse me, journalist, and you're lying when you say that. Chris just needs to be ready to answer that question when wherever it comes, from whoever it comes. Just get ready, because the shit's going to damn come up. Stop pretending like it didn't happen. The shit did happen, and it was some serious shit. Learn to deal with it. You did that shit, Chris. You did that shit. Be at peace with it. Learn to deal with it, and definitely move on with your life. But if it comes up, learn how to handle it. And stop getting all pissed off like can't nobody ask your ass no questions. And yeah, we all do shit in life we wish would go away, but you know what? Sometimes it doesn't. I know that from personal experience, my damn self. Sometimes it doesn't. People remember that shit and always want to throw it at you, but you know what? A bitch like me, you never going to catch me slipping and sliding because I'm all, whatever, whichever way they come. Ooh, I'm, what? They're coming in. What? I, <laughs> whichever damn way they come. So I need you to get like that also. I want to talk about the letter that Kevin Powell wrote to um, Chris Brown. And I love Kevin Powell. I love his writings. I've followed him since the real world. But Kevin, you know your ass could have got to Chris if you really wanted to. All this, I tried to slip him a card. Um, I sent a message and all. You could have got to Chris if you really wanted to. That's just my opinion. I don't know. But I'm going to stick with that. And then your letter, I printed out because it was so long. It was like six pages. I was like, what, huh? Somebody help me. And I felt like in the letter, you were kind of trying to grandstand on your own situation to somehow get you some new fans. That's just, I, I, I don't know. I, and like I said, I'm a Kevin Powell fan. I'm a Kevin Powell fan too. I've followed you since the real world. I have your books. So I'm not just saying it to somebody who's just coming up out of the blue or some type of hater. No, I just felt like that letter was not meant for us. Chris should have been reading it. But what I'm hoping is, because it was published, other folks who may need some help will read it 
and you know get something from it that's what i'm hoping will come you know from that situation let's talk about let, let me go back to what chris brown had um tweeted about the charlie sheen situation okay I, I need for us to get something in our minds and i understand i definitely understand um the flip-flopping on it i understand that charlie sheen will definitely is definitely getting treated different from chris brown i understand that having said that i also want to apologize because it saddens me that in america in 2010 there is still a double standard with a white man and a black man whereas this black man is looked upon as a thug um a no good uh, <laughs> never gonna be right mad and angry killer whatever and charlie sheen is kind of comical and laughed at when this motherfucker is possibly on crack and i like Ch charlie sheen's cool with me i like anybody who's against the norm but you know that's just me um who's possibly on crack doing drugs has um there have been reports from these women that he has beat them and tried to kill one and all kinds of shit but still Chris Brown is a thug. And that, that saddens me that in America in 2011 that there is that double standard and we still have to prepare our men in a totally different way. Because I will say this, I don't even know how sometimes black men make it in this here place called America because the shit is not damn fair. But when I come, when I, like I said, the apology, I want to apologize because I don't feel like the generation before me and then that generation before them really cracked ground that needed to be and then i'm apologizing for my generation too because i'm older than chris brown have not put into place what needs to be put into place so that our people can just be human like everybody else and able to make mistakes do you see what i'm saying so that saddens me in 2011 that there is such a double standard having said that there is um I don't know when it's going to straighten out either. Really, just to be honest with you. So, I do understand what people say when they say Charlie Sheen is getting treated differently. Yeah, he is. I, I don't even know what to tell you. It, it pretty much is what it is. So, I don't know. I mean, that that's it, it's just a... It's a catch-22 on that situation with me because it pisses me off. And you've known from past videos I've done where I've said... Hell, we need to be able to be people and be human just like everybody else. Um, but a lot of folks don't think that way. So, when it comes to Chris Brown, I like, you know, like not like he's going to listen to me. Hell, I'm just, you know, somebody making videos on YouTube who likes to run her mouth. <laughs> Get some help. Get comfortable in your shit. Learn how to look your own damn self in the mirror and admit the shit that you've done. And when you can admit it to yourself and sit there and relax within yourself, either which way it comes to you, you can deal with that shit. So that's what I want to say. A, you have us that is, keep making excuses for Chris beating the hell out of Rihanna and still, you know, y'all have, I don't, what the hell, what, what y'all grow at? That's what I need to know. What kind of woman thinks it's okay that another woman got her ass kicked like that. I don't even understand. Who raised you? That that's that's my question. Who raised you? That that it's just <laughs> I don't I don't even know. But we need to stop trying to throw Rihanna under the bus for getting her ass kicked. Who does that? Who the fuck does that? Also I need for Chris to get some help. That's what you need to do. You need to get some help so that you can get comfortable in your shit and deal with it. Like a real human being. Like a grown ass man. And that's what I need for you to do. I want to thank y'all for listening. And it is good to see you again. I'm about to get up out of here because my cuteness, like I said, is at a level 10 today. And I got shit to do. Alright, bye.